ஸ்ரீ குரு வியோ நமகா சில்ட்ரன் வெல்கம் டு ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் டென்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சில்ட்ரன் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் ஃபிஃப்த் யூனிட் போயம் த சீக்ரெட் ஆஃப் த மெஷின் ரிட்டன் பை ருட்யார்ட் கிப்ளிங் சில்ட்ரன் யூ நோ தேட் யூ வில் பி ஹேவிங் சீக்ரெட் யா எவ்ரிபடி வில் பி ஹேவிங் அ சீக்ரெட் சம்டைம்ஸ் இஃப் இட் இஸ் நோன் டு ஆல் இட் இஸ் அ ஓப்பன் சீக்ரெட் Yes, everybody will be having a secret. If I ask you, you will have thousands of secrets to tell, isn't it? Okay. So, here the machines also having a secret and that had been written by the poet. He had analyzed and uh, seen and noticed how the thing is, the machine is and uh, what are their secrets. So, the poet imagines himself as a machine and he was just sharing the secrets of the machine. it is uh, very clear to you children okay in this poem we are having five stanzas so each stanza has four lines so for five are 20 lines this poem a very simple poem of 20 lines and uh, four five stanzas are there and each stanza has four lines okay so first we will see about the poet and about the poem gist and then we'll go for each and every line and you know that this is a memory poem as per your examination you will be having 5 marks for your memory poem and then you will be having erc and appreciation questions apart from that so we'll go in detail for the poem and first you have to memorize this you put some tune and you can uh, sing also children okay so let me try and i am not a good singer let me try we were taken from the old bed and the mine we were melted in the furnace and the pit we were cast and brought in amber to design we were cut and filed and tooled and gauged to fit some water coal and oil is all we ask and uh, thousands of an inch to give us play and now if you will set us to a task we will serve you for and 20 hours a day we can pull and all and push and fit and uh, drive we can print and plow and weave and uh, heat and light we can run and race and swim and fly and dive we can see and hear and count and read and write but remember please the law by which we live we are not built to comprehend a lie we can neither love nor pity nor forgive if you make a slip in handling yes you will die do a smoke may hide the heavens from your eyes it will vanish and the stars will shine again because for all our power wait and sees we are nothing more than children of your brain we are nothing more than children of your brain children like this and i have just put some tune i have not uh, uh, what to say i am good singer you i know you are all very uh, talented you can make uh, tunes for others and you can make a song record it and send it to my whatsapp so that i can give the first one first three person whose song is very good and you have memorized easily so those three children will be getting uh, praises i'm ready to give praise for three children who's this best uh, tune and uh, nice uh, voice for them so 10th uh, standard good singers are there you try your level best and get the praise so i'm ready to give first three praises you try try and send immediately so two days time for you from today so who is first time getting and the best one will be getting three praises shall we go to the lesson children okay so what we see in the picture a machine so this machine has a secret to tell you and the rutya kipling is going to tell that secret let us see what it is okay about the poet rutya kipling was born on december 30th na 1865 in india he was educated in england but returned to india in 1882 a decade later kipling married caroline balstre and settled in Battlemore, Vermont, where he wrote the Jungle Book, among a host of other works that made him hugely successful. 
Kipling was the recipient of the 1907 Nobel Prize in Literature. He died in 1936. Okay, children, Ruthyard's uh, Kipling's history. Ruthyard Kipling was born on December uh, 30th, 1865 in India. He was born in India. Then he was educated in England. He went to England for his education and he educated in England but returned to India in 1888. Again he returned to India in 1882. Sorry, 80, 1882. A decade later Kipling married. So he got married uh, two years later that is 10 years. Decade means 10 years. 10 years let, later that is 1882 he came to India and after uh, 10 years that is 92, 1892 he got married. Whom he married? Caroline Blaster and then uh, settled in uh, Battle Moro, Vermont. So, Vermont is a place and he settled there. Where he wrote, you know the famous book, the jungle book and it has been uh, uh, taken as a series of uh, film and uh, uh, children's uh, uh, enjoyment uh, book and uh, they were seeing in the, watching in the TV also. So, here it had been first written by as a book and in the year 1894 and then among a host of other works that made him hugely successful. Afterwards, he started writing many books. And Kipling was the recipient of 1907 Nobel Prize winner. So, he was a Nobel Prize winner for literature in 1907. And uh, in literature, he died in the year 1936. He died in the year 1936. Okay. What is the summary of the poem? The poem deals with the problem of modern technology and automation. You know children, in olden days when you ask your grandmother and grandmother's mother and all, they will say that we did not have that uh, gas stove or uh, mostly uh, the grinder, uh, mixy like that. So each thing they will be doing with the ant. So the vessels what we are using is not there, in the cooker and other things and all coffee maker like that and all. So, they were having a pot or uh, some vessels or uh, of copper or of aluminum they will be having and they were using that and they will be cooking and they will be doing all hard works. You know that as the day becomes uh, technological, modern and uh, we are uh, utilizing all the machines and other things. So, health wise it is not good at the same time when you are not handling properly the machine it is very dangerous too. If a uh, old grandma, if she comes, she will be uh, feeling a re a really a difficult in handling tools. Because sometimes if they switch on the mixie and uh, left their uh, uh, thing, hand in that finger in that, they will be having uh, damages. They must know how to handle it. Same way if you switch on the fan and you just go and keep a uh, stick or something, it will be uh, a problem for you. So, it will not know, it will not stop it because it is a machine. Suppose if the same way when your human being is grinding something in the stone uh, made and uh, when you are uh, ready to take, now immediately they are human being, love and care is there. So, immediately they stop their work and they will correct you and then they will be doing it. So, in a modern world it is not possible. So, that is the machine is telling about uh, those things, we will see what all. And uh, it deals with the technology and automation. In the beginning the reader gets the informed about how machines are produced. So, in the first answer the poet tells the secret. What is the secret? How the submission is made, in what way they have been made or produced. So, he is talking in the first stanza about how the uh, machines are made and where they are just and are uh, brought and how they are just made. So, it four lines tells you how it had made. Next stanza four lines tells that what is needed. So, what it, what it is needed and uh, if you give something and it will do the task. So, like that what is needed that was the second stanza and third stanza explains you how they will be doing the task, how they will be doing the task 24 hours. If you just supply what is needed then it will be doing all the work. Then, so in the fourth stanza it is giving uh, the secret is it is giving that they are machine, they are not having love, care and affection like human being and forgiveness, pity like that, that and all and they are machine and if once you started operating it, it will be doing it and uh, if we are not able to handle it properly then we may die. 
So that was a warning was given in the fourth stanza. So that was a secret of the machine. It is giving a warning to us. And last stanza it says that it is working a lot. A smoke is just going and covering all the heaven and uh, other things. So that was the thing and five stanzas have been very clearly explained and that is a secret. As if the machine is revealing a secret to you, the poem had been written. It is clear to you children. And here we, we is there that we refers to the machines. We will go here. The first readers gets the informed about how machines are produced and what kind of treatment they needed. Afterwards, the machines explain how they be, uh, become uh, serving humanity and the poem ends with the statement that machines although also although capable of great deeds are still nothing more than creation of a human being. So machines all is saying that it is a creation of a human being. It is a brain of a human being. After all, we are all a brain of a, your child's brain. I am I'm not a great uh, scientist. My machines, we are all the chi uh, child's uh, brain. From that out of we came. It is telling very clearly. It is clear children? Okay. Okay. First answer, we will go for the explanation. We were taken from the old bed and the main, the secret of the machine and first it tells how it is produced. We were taken from the old bed and the mine. We were melted in the furnace and the pit. We were cast and wrought and ambered to design. We were cut and filed and tooled and gauged to fit. Okay, here V refers to, refers to machines, it refers to machine, all V is referred to machines. And first what it is saying, taken from where they have been taken, ore bed. What is a ore bed? In the earth or in the mine, you will be having iron and other things and all, as a, in the bed, the copper, whatever it is, you will be get as a ore, gold like that, you will be getting from the mine as a ore. Then what they will be doing? They will be, they will be taken as a ore bed and the mine, from the mine. So mine here, it is not mine, myself like that. Here mine means, you know what is a mine? You will be just taking things from underground. You will be having, uh, digging the things in the mine and you will be getting all the things. Gold is taken from the mine, coal is taken from the mine and from uh, iron ores will be taken from the mine. So here the iron ore, ore bed, they are just taken from the ore bed of the mine. We were melted after taking. So the machine is speaking to you. So we here refers to the machine and melted. So how they are made as a machine, first they have been taken from the ore bed and then they have been melted. Now what is melting? Now if you heat a thing, it will be melting to some temperature of your heating, it will be melted. So the ore had been taken and melted in the furnace, where they are melted in the furnace. The place where you are melting is called as furnace and they are melted in the furnace and the pit. Next in the pit, they will be melted in the furnace and they will be taken and then again in the pit they will be melted. We ca were caused, then caused means this is all uh, reactions and chemical reactions, you know that they will be casting and wrought and amid. So you know that when, uh, when they melted and they have something and they will put in a water and they will cast and again they will take and they will eat it. So that only it is said. So cast and wrought. They have been wrought and hammered. Hammered means they'll eat to design, to make a good shape. Suppose if you want a fan in that shape, if you want a washing machine in that shape. So here if the machines will be made, whatever the machines you are having, it will be made a big machine or a tractor like that. Whatever the thing, big or small size, a tool, if you want a nail or a small uh, screws. So it will be made, so it will be just a cast and it will be just uh, hammered and then they will be wrought, hammered and then they will be designed whatever the uh, shape they need and they want. So machine will be made. Then when after this all made, it will not be very sharp and it will not be very shining like that, isn't it? It will be having some scrub like that, uh, scratches like that. And what you will be doing? If it is not uh, fine in their uh, way, we were cut, they will be cut into sizes, small sizes or big sizes, whatever the size they want, they, it will be cut. And filed, you know what is filed? It will be shaping it, 
shaping it. It will not have a proper shape. So you will be shaping it. That is called as filed. Yeah, filed. So it will be filed and tooled and it will be at last made as a tooled and gauged, measured. No, gauge, screw gauge, you will be in a minute thing, you will be just thing, thing no, so it will be measured. Gauged means measured. Gauged means measured to fit, to fit in that place. So, suppose if you want a small screw to fit in, to put tight, then you have to take that shape, you have to file it, you have to cut it, file it, tooled, gauged, you have to take the shape and again if it is not fitting, you will be just filing it and you will be just shaping it. So, that is first four lines very clearly it tells you, we were taken from the whole bed on the mine, we were melted in the furnace on the pit, we were cast and wrought and hammered to design, we were cut and filed and tooled and gauged to fit. So, it is very clear children, you understood the first uh, stanza, shall we move to the second one? Okay. Okay, the secret of machine, what they need in this second stanza, they are telling the secret or they are revealing the secret that what they need. So, first stanza they were say, saying how they had been made or how they are produced. In second stanza it is telling that the secret is revealed that what is needed and to do the work. What they needed? Some water, coal and oil is all we ask. The machine asks some water, coal, oil or some electricity. So, now some machines are functioning in electricity. The, in uh, those days uh, we had uh, left that. So, we, we, are, we have to add that also. Okay. Some water, coal and oil is all we ask. The machine asks only the oil, water or coal. So, some uh, machines it will be functioning. Uh, the stream. So, it needs water. The water will be boiled through that steamer, it will be working. And some uh, machine need coal, you know coal children, black color it will be, yeah. So, it will be firing and with that fire it will be producing energy and with that energy it will be working. And the same oil, some for example, motorbike and other vehicles, you need oil. So, here it needs oil. So, if you give this is all we ask. What they asking? Some water, coal and oil is all we ask. And the thousands of in inches to give us play. So, thousands of inches to give us play. So, if you give thousands of inches to play. So, here if you give these things, uh, they will be playing thousands of inches give us play. Okay. And now, if you will set us to our task, if you just... Uh, work you just started if you switch on us that is and now if you will set us to our task if you set us our task means what the work or function it is doing that is called as task and the machine if it is cutting or if it is uh, grinding or it is uh, uh, chopping a tree or whatever it is the machines work if you start and you just give the task it will be doing the task we will serve you 4 and 20 hours a day. So, here he says that 24 hours a day instead of that 4 and 20 hours a day. So, that means 24 hours are there in the days and all the 24 hours we, they will be working for us they are saying. So, they revealed the secret in the fourth, uh, second stanza and four lines whatever the oil or food or whatever it needs that is oil, coal or water or electricity if you supply and you set a task for them, they will be finishing even if you give 24 hours they will be doing. So, it is very clear children, shall we move to this next stanza? Okay. So, here ask, task, play, day, rhyming words. Okay. So, here you will be finding uh, alliterations. We will Okay, so you have uh, rhyming words and alliteration in this uh, uh, stanzas children and then it is very clear in the second stanza shall we move to the third. Okay, we can pull and all and push and lift and drive, we can print and plow and weave and heat and light. 
we can run and race and swim and fly and drive, we can see and hear and count and read and write. So the machine is telling what all the works they can do. See very clearly it explains in the third stanza. So what all the work it can do, it tells that we can pull, machines can pull and haul and push and lift and drive. So this is all the work it is doing. It is pulling, hauling, pushing, lifting and driving. So these works have been done by the machine and it tells you very clearly. We can print, so we can print, plow, weave, heat and light. So it is telling that it can do plowing work, what the farmer is doing and it will be helping the farmer. And weaving work it can do weave to the weaver and heat, it will produce heat for you and it will produce light for you. And we can run and race, we will run and race means we will be regularly doing as running as a race, we will be doing it and swim and fly, even we can swim and fly. So some uh, machines that will be helping you to go under the sea or under the ocean and find it what all the things available in the ocean or children. So here it tells very clearly they can swim and fly, fly means you can take aeroplane, it is also uh, helicopter that is also a machine, it can fly, drive car and other things. So here it is talking. We can see and hear, so sometimes some machines will be seeing and hearing and there will be count and read and write. For example, calculator you can count it and uh, some uh, computers, it will be calculating you read and write, this all will be doing it. So in the third stanza, it tells very clearly what are the job it is doing, what are the jobs it is doing. It is very clear children, very clear to you, okay, we will move. So here again, drive and drive is, drive and drive is a rhyming word. Light and right is a rhyming word and your pull, push, so it is alliteration, then print and plow is alliteration, then yeah, you having this uh, rhyming words and alliteration in this. Okay, we will go for the next. Yeah, fourth stanza. The secret of machine, so here it says, I, we are doing 24 hours, all the work, what all they are doing, it revealed. And in this fourth stanza, it is giving a warning to you, what it is. But remember, please, law by which we live. So you must know the law which we are living. If you forget to do that, it will be a problem for you. So it is giving a warning here, remember, but remember, but remember, it is giving a warning, but remember, please, the law by which we live, you must know the law of us, otherwise, we are not built to comprehend a lie, see as a machine, we will not lie like human beings, we will be uh, as truthful to you, so when you switch on, we will work, if you switch off, we will stop. So he says that in between if you want to stop it, it will not do. You have to do that. So you must know the law of us, how we are working. We can neither love nor pity nor forgive. So human beings have love, affection and care, pity, forgiveness, all these qualities are there. Emotion is there for a human being. For machine it is not there. Suppose if your mother is uh, just uh, sweeping there and if you go and run, uh, go, she will stop and she will wait for you and then she will tell children do not do like this. And she will feel pity and she will forgive. If the machine is there, it will not know, it will be just sweeping, even along with you it will be sweeping. So that is a quality of a machine, it is not a human being. So here you understood children, that it is, it is telling very clearly, we are not like a human being, we are neither love nor pity nor forgive, we will not have any love, we will not have any pity for you, we will not have any forgiveness for you. And if you make a slip, suppose if you make a slip, handling us, you die. If you made any mistake in handling us, if you go against our law, then you have to lose your life. You will be dying also. So that will take place. It is giving a warning in the fourth stanza. It is very clear children. Okay. Live and forgive is. Live and forgive is. Rhyming word. Lie and die is again. Rhyming word. 
and you can see any law, law and live. So, here it is alliteration, neither nor. So, this is alliteration. If you make a slip in handling us, you die. So, here there is no. So, this is uh, alliteration. We have alliteration and we have rhyming words live, forgive, and lie and die. So, we will go for the next uh, stanza, children. Okay. Though our smoke may hide the heavens from your eyes. So, we are just producing lot of smoke and that smoke will be hiding you from the heaven. It will vanish and the stars will shine again. It will vanish and the stars will shine again. Because for all our power and weight and size, we are nothing more than children of your brain. So, what it is saying? It is producing uh, smoke and it will be stopping you from the seeing heaven and uh, it, it is the thing hide the heaven from your eyes. You will be hiding. That means you will get a dark color clouds uh, because of that uh, producing uh, smoke that will be just going and uh, hiding the heaven it is saying. But it will vanish that uh, smoke will vanish very soon and the stars will shine again. You can see the stars again. Even we leave lot of smoke it will go and gather somewhere. Later you can see the sky very clearly it is saying. And okay because for all our powers so what, what it has? It has a power and weight and size we are uh, known for our power size and so they are doing the work faster and the size weight is also big and uh, weight is also more and size also big we are nothing more than so how big we are it is nothing more than children of your brain human being you only created us we are all brain of yours we how big we are it is not a problem because human being has a small brain and it has lot of things to do than uh, the machines it is telling like that so here all the machine is made by human being it is accepting it and uh, it says that how big, how heavy, how weight we are, it is not a thing at all because we all created by a human brain. So, that is the last uh, thing and they are submissively accepting that they are the uh, products of human being. It is very clear children. Okay, we will see what it is. Highs and sighs or rhyming words. We will go for the rhyming uh, scheme children. Here uh, we have eyes and uh, Size is a rhyming word and gain and brain is again a rhyming word. We have alliteration hide and heaven and then star and shine. So, that is all we have and again what this uh, stanza tells you very clearly that it accepts the machine, the secret uh, accepts that we are uh, nothing but a machine. It had been created by a human being. The human being had created the uh, machines, so it tells that how big, how big are the size or the weight we are so great. We are not so great because the small simple brain of a human being had created us. So here it tells and accepts this truth that uh, man was greater than the machine. So machine may do the work, but it is all created by the human brain. So it accepts. Last answer it accepts is a business that human being are greater than the machine even if it works a lot for us. It is very clear children, we will stop here and we will continue in the next class.